What's up, Hippie Nation? It's Mike back at it with another review today. And today we're going to dive into the Fox R3 body armor. All right, so here it is. This is the Fox R3 body armor. This does come in three colors, about three colors. You get like white, black, red. I got the red because the red was on sale. Uh, this is rated to be like downhill armor, you know, like motocross armor and stuff like that uh this does come with shoulder pads uh i disconnected them because for mtb you really don't use shoulder pads you know you really don't want that hanging on there underneath your jersey and stuff like that but it comes in small medium medium large and large extra large i went ahead and i got the large extra large because of this chest area right here uh, it's kind of weird because as you get down here, uh, you know, the fitment's all weird. But I'm going to go ahead and try this on for you. I'm going to do two different ways. I'm going to put it over, which is, you know, the ugly way. And then, you know, the downhill racing way, which is underneath the actual jersey. But it's pretty simple. You get your uh, latches right here that lock the body armor around your body. Just fold open like this. And then you just take it, put it up over your head. Make sure my mic's not in the way. And then just grab these straps. And then this one goes right here. Make sure that's in the groove. And this one, if I can get this straight. It's not straight at all. That's fine though. We'll go ahead and, oh, there it is. It's straight now. And that's latched there. And then of course you pull these tight as possible. And then this is what it looks like on the outside. And of course, it is thin enough to go underneath your jersey. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that right now. But as far as comfortability, I would say it's very easy to move around in. I can like basically still hug myself, which is good because you know you wanna be able to get the bars. And I run 780 bars and I've already like test fitted this with a helmet on and bike and everything. And I sit about right here, you know, shoulder length and everything's all good, so. Um, I actually ended up buying this for Beach Mountain. I uh, haven't gone yet, hoping to go within the next two weeks. Uh, it's planned. We'll see how it goes. But went ahead and got this. But let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off so you don't see my naked bod on YouTube. Wife wouldn't be too happy. But let me go ahead and do that for you right now. All right. So here it is underneath the jersey. As I stated, it's like super thin and barely noticeable except for, you know, the actual shape of the body armor on the body. But other than that, like, this is a size medium jersey. Uh, you know, it's got some wiggle room, but, you know, it's pretty breathable. And I actually just walked outside to go, like, bring in the trash cans. And the wind's blowing. It's, like, 100 degrees here in NC. And literally, it's airy. Like, let alone the jersey was airy. I felt the wind go right through the chest armor. So you will not have an issue with any type of, like, air circulation or venting or anything. So I feel like this is actually a really good option for downhill mountain biking or, you know, even if you're into enduro and you just want a little extra protection. But tell me your thoughts about this. I'm digging it. I'm ready to go take it for a ride, you know. Um, also got a neck brace and stuff for, you know, double protection. God, I cannot speak. The double protection, you know. I said double up everything, you know. But yeah, I just wanted some uh, neck protection so you know you don't break clavicles or anything like that. But this is it. This is the Fox R3. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and do an actual real-time review at Beach Mountain when I finally get to go. But that's what I have for you today. Stay tuned for more. Peace out, fam.